Hi guys, another 15 by 15 by 15 project. Been rummaging around in my reclaimed bits and pieces box. Found this electric motor. It's actually got a pulley on it already, which is quite handy. I'm pretty sure this has come out of a tape cassette player. It says 12 volts DC on it, and it seems to run alright if I use this 9 volt battery. So we'll use the 9 volt battery and the 12 volt motor. Also found this pulley, that's come out of a printer at some time or other. Found this old comb. This is pretty old I think this sort of thing that uh, my wife probably used back in the 70s. I don't know if they're still in use but I found that at the back of one of my boxes. So that's going to be the chassis. These things that look like ping pong balls are beer can widgets. That's what they're called. Uh, you find them in certain sorts of beer cans. And I'll put a link to a video I did using them one, one time in the past where I actually showed how I got them out of the beer cans. So I'll stick that link in the notes later. Rubber band to connect the pulley to the pulley. A couple of barbecue skewers for the axles. And that's about it. I did notice that when I measured this comb, it is actually a bit too long. So I'll have to trim the ends to make sure it fits within my 15 by 15 by 15. But other than that, everything else is there. Got one other thing. Need some plastic tubing for the axle tubes. I'll see if this piece is enough. This is out of one of those soap dispensers. It's a fairly hard piece of plastic. It just happens to be exactly the right size for these skewers to go in. Right, that's the axle tubes in place. So now I need to glue the wheels on. The reason I like these is you have to drill a hole through them because the existing holes aren't big enough. In fact, I'm not even sure if there are holes in them to begin with, but certainly I've had to drill holes through them. And then they've got a nice big area there that you can fill with hot glue to hold it onto the skewer. So it makes them very secure on there. Mind you, they're a good tight fit anyway. Right, well there we are. All up together. I've hot glued the battery in place. I've actually soldered wires directly onto it. Because that makes it very easy just to connect them together. Rubber band round the pulley, round the pulley on the back axle. Plastic tube on the front, two little plastic tubes on the back, and we're ready to go. So I think all we've got to do now is go and give it a test run. Okay, time for a test run. I actually put some cushions at the far end because these electric cars have a habit of building up speed and hitting the end quite hard.
Okay, summary time. So what have we got? We've got a comb, hair comb, which I've cut to 15 centimetres length. We've got four beer can widgets as the wheels. The axles are barbecue skewers. We've got some plastic tubing for the axles to go in. The motor comes out of a old cassette player and it had a pulley on it already and there's a pulley there that came out of a, a printer yes that came out of a printer and a rubber band and that's it oh 9 volt battery it's a 12 volt motor 9 volt battery still plenty of power to run this up and down the kitchen not really much point in saying it goes 5 metres up and down the kitchen because it would keep going as long as the battery keeps running so there we go 15 by 15 by 15 number 7 I think 